Welcome to the Oak and Smoke Whiskey Reviews. My name is Brent. If you are a subscriber, I thank you so much for your support. And if you're not a subscriber and you're into whiskey, please consider hitting that subscribe button with a notification bell. That way you'll be notified of new uploads and live streams. All right guys, today I'm gonna to be reviewing Blanton's Single Barrel Bourbon Whiskey. But before I get into this whiskey, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about it. This is a Buffalo Trace product that was created in 1984 by Elmer T. Lee. Blanton's is named after Albert Bacon Blanton. He was born into one of the first families of bourbon history and started working in a distillery at the early age of 16 and eventually became president of the company in 1921. During his time as president of the company, Colonel Blanton had his own private reserve that was select hand-picked barrels that was stored in the famous Warehouse H, where the bourbon is still stored at today. Blanton's single barrel is claimed to be the first commercial release single barrel bourbon. This is a non-A-stated whiskey that is thought to be around six to eight years old, has an undisclosed mash bill, 43.5% ABV, 93 proof, with an MSRP of around $60, even though secondary pricing can get kind of outrageous on this bottle. Let's check out the bottle for a second. All right, guys, it is the Blanton's bottling. Definitely sets itself apart from the rest of the whiskeys on the shelf. You definitely know this, what this is when you see it. Definitely a different bottling, kind of known for, besides the whiskey inside, this neat grenade-shaped bottling. This actual shape of this bottle has a proper name. I'll try to post it somewhere on the screen. On the label, it tells you that it is stored in Warehouse H. When the barrel was dumped, this one was dumped on 12-21-18, barrel number 2983 off of Rick number one. It gives you all that information right here on the label. Also on the cork is synthetic and it has this horse and jockey on it. This is an eight piece set with, you can collect them all with each one, the jockey and the horse is changing poses. Definitely a cool bottling, definitely neat. It definitely sets itself apart from other bourbons and whiskeys on the shelf. With that being said, let's get into the color, nose and taste of this whiskey. All right guys, check out the color. Color on this one is a nice copper, amber color to it. The viscosity, we'll check that out, see how oily the whiskey is, see how it clings to the glass. It is clinging to the glass fairly well. I'd say it has moderate viscosity. The legs that are forming on the side of the glass, they are running pretty quickly. So it's not super viscous, but it is a nice oily whiskey that is clinging to the glass. Nice, nice viscosity, nice color. Let's get into the nose. Caramel, vanilla right away. A little bit of citrus. Nutmeg. A little bit of maybe like a baking spice, clove. And it also has a little bit of a, a floral sense to it also. in a soft, nice, soft, approachable oak note. The nose on this whiskey is a nice nose, very approachable. It's mainly caramel, vanilla, a little bit of clove, floral scents, not overwhelming floral scents, but it does have a little floral scents to the whiskey. Like a rye spice, a baking spice and a nice subtle oak note. Once again, caramel, vanilla, a little bit of baking spice, a little floral scents, a nice maybe nutmeg note, and a nice subtle oak note on the nose of this whiskey. Let's get into the taste. Cheers. Got a nice mouthfeel, kind of velvety texture on the palate. I'd say the finish is probably medium, medium finish. Not, not, not super long, but it's definitely middle of the row. Front of the palate, just loads of vanilla and caramel. And the vanilla is kind of getting drugged through the mid palate. And on the finish, a nice subtle oak note with a little vanilla in it on the first sip. Very nice first sip. Let's go in for a second. Cheers. Mm. 
And once again, nice velvety mouth texture, nice velvety, almost creamy texture on the palate. Front of the palate, vanilla caramel. Mid palate, I am picking up a little more baking spices, a little clove. And on the finish, vanilla once again getting drugged through the mid palate into the finish. Finish a nice subtle oak note. And I'm picking up maybe even a little bit of like a nutmeg on the finish of the second sip. Very nice second sip, and it is a nice velvety mouth texture. It's nice coating, viscous whiskey. It's not super viscous, but the mouth feels very nice. Nice velvety mouth feel. Let's go in for a third sip. Cheers. It's very nice. It's very consistent. Vanilla caramel in front of the palate. Mid palate, I even got a little citrus zest on the third sip. Still baking spices, clove. It may be a little nutmeg on the finish. The finish, I would say, is definitely middle of the row with a nice vanilla oak note and nutmeg kind of hanging around the finish. Very nice third sip, nice pour. Let's get into my final thoughts. My final thoughts on the Blanton Single Barrel. Guys, it's just a good solid pour of bourbon whiskey. Nothing more, nothing less. I know there's a lot of hype behind this bottle and the secondary pricing can get astronomical. 60 to $65, I don't think anyone will be disappointed. It, it's just a good solid pour. Now, if you're going into this thinking that something magical and majestic is going to happen when you open this bottle, you might be disappointed. It's just a good, solid pour of bourbon whiskey. With that being said, I'm going to wrap this up. I thank you so much for watching. If you are a subscriber, once again, I thank you so much for your support. And if you're not a subscriber, hey, subscribe. Until next time, guys, cheers. Mm -hmm.